What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Midas and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a simple gaming YouTube thumbnail like the one you see on the screen right now. So I'm not gonna take too much of your time. So let's get right to it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Photoshop now we have Photoshop open we're just gonna create a new project and now we're gonna name this project YT gaming thumbnail as you can see we have the width at 800 but you want to change this to 1280 by 720 because that's the recommended size you can go up you can double it you know if you want uh, better quality but most of the time it's gonna be you know higher than the size that you know YouTube allows so your file cannot be more than two megabytes so if it's above two megabytes it's not gonna let you upload it so you want to make sure everything else is about the same as this you can have a black you know background you can have a white background or you can have just you know a transparent background so I'm just gonna go on with a black background and create and start so we have our canvas right now the next thing you want to do is open up Google and search for basically a background image what you're gonna use what do you want to use you can grab this image from the video game you're playing as well it doesn't have to be off Google so you can take a screenshot or a snapshot of a cool you know thing that happened during the game or a cool screenshot from the game a cool part you know a cool thing you did and then use that image just make sure it's high quality when you when you when you take that picture so 1920 by 1080 is a pretty good thing to, to go for but 1280 by 720 is also pretty okay so I'm just gonna search up 2k 20 background right there so I'm gonna go into images and if you want to check the right the sizes the size of different photos all you have to do is look you know on you just click on the photo and look in the corner right here as you can see right here it says 1920 by 1080 so I want one with you know with no text on it just you know some character from the game and you know an, on a nice background and this can work with any video game you know Grand Theft Auto Assassin's Creed anything but I'm just doing this with 2k right now and as you can see right now this is um this is just a scene with, with uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo on there it's 3840 by 2160 this is massive which is going to be great for quality so all you're going to have to do is right click and save image as and I'm just gonna save my image as stock to my desktop and just hit save as you can see right there it's saved to my desktop I'm just gonna minimize that and then I'm gonna move this to the side grab my stock image and place it on here right there as you can see it's covered up the whole page pretty nicely so you can always move this around however you want and you know you just you know organize it how you want but you don't want to just have this image just like this you want to spice it up just a little bit so first thing I usually do is I would cut out this image you know the main guy you know in the image so, so or some guy from the image I will cut them out so uh, you want to make sure that image is selected you see that little uh, plus right there you want to just draw just draw on the image just draw on the on the character right there make sure you make sure you get in every angle just draw perfectly on the image just draw as best as you can doesn't have to be perfect but if you want it to be perfect you can just always zoom in get every single corner so I'm just doing this in the video right now I'm not gonna waste too much time to zoom in all you gotta do is press Z and then it's gonna the, it's gonna change the cursor is gonna change into a zoom and then you just click in and then you just hold down alt to change it to a minus sign hold it down and just press on the mouse and you're gonna be back to where you started basically you want to keep drawing so you come back here grab the draw tool or the quick selection tool and just grab the rest of his hair here you see how, how it goes crazy right here all you have to do is hold down alt the same way you did with the zoom in and zoom out and just draw it's like a negative quick selection tool so it does the opposite of selecting it negatively selects and the reason why this is harder to select is because the hair is the same color as the background so it's pretty much just as dark so it's harder to select the same color so usually I would go for a higher quality image with where you know the, the the background contrast this or I would just zoom in and you know select it properly but this is just for this video so what you want to do when you have this done is right click and then click on select an invert uh, and mask and then you increase the radius to about 2 which is where I usually would put my radius at and your smoothness to about 30 35 36 you can't really see the changes but trust me it, it does something there and the contrast I bring to about 32 35 as you can see 30 35 somewhere around there feather also bring up somewhere around 2.93 and then I click OK and the next thing is I write I click on this image again and then layer via copy now you have a new layer of just this character right now so you've basically separ separated this character from the image so I go back to the stock and then I go over to filter and then I hit blur so I just give it a little bit of a blur you know just kind of clean out that background you don't want it to be too much so you can bring this you can always bring this down just kind of right there right there is what I'm kind of looking for so the image sticks out more and then next thing you want to do is you want to grab your image which is right here and then right click on it blending options then you can come over here give it a drop shadow 
shadow as you can see the back right there gets darker so you can always give it a drop shadow i'm not going to give it a drop shadow you can always give it an outer glow you can always give it a stroke as well if you wanted to put a stroke you just have to reduce this you can just control how much stroke you give to the character makes it stand out even more i think it looks pretty cool i'm gonna leave the stroke on it right there next thing you want to do is hit okay you can always mess around with the rest of the settings here but this is just you know what if you want to throw, throw together a quick thumbnail and now you have this character here now you want some kind of text so if you wanted to grab specific kinds of fonts you want to go to defont.com this link will be in this in the description as well so you can grab this link in the description and you can just search for you know some kind of font that you like so you basically grab a font that you like and just go with it you know so there's some in attack here maybe i'm just gonna try this out i don't know how it's gonna look but i'm gonna try it out for the sake of you know showing you guys how this works so you basically open this up i have WinRAW on my computer and then you open this up and install it that's all it takes to install a font nothing else install done and now i have summit on my computer and i'm gonna open up photoshop and search up summit right there summit attack regular and then i'm just gonna create a text field right here and then i'm gonna type in whatever you know i want to type let's say i was i wanted to talk about something from within the game a new hack i found you know or a new update that just dropped i'm just gonna say new and then i'm just gonna make that just its own field and then i'm gonna increase the size of that just that new and then place it right there somewhere i'm still gonna put the rest of the text but i like to you know start with just one and then edit that one so i usually will put like a stroke on it you know give it like a black stroke kind of a contrast color so if it's a darker color i go with like white or something and you can give it like a, a drop shadow as well you can always mess around with the spread you know depending on if the, if the background is dark it doesn't really matter it doesn't really make sense to add a drop shadow but if it's a brighter background then you can add a drop shadow so you can also change the color by you know going to color overlay and you know trying different colors whatever you want you can just go crazy with it the same with the uh, gradient overlay which is another way to you know add color to it so you can go over here but make sure your opacity is up if you want to see the effect so you can control the effect by using the opacity slider over here so once you have once you have this done i'm just gonna take this off as well i just want to have a white you know a neutral color for the just for the purpose of this tutorial so i'm gonna hit okay and then i'm just gonna duplicate this layer so right click on that layer and just hit duplicate right there duplicate layer and then you just have to hit text open it up and we're just gonna add update uh, we're gonna make this all caps new update right there so we're gonna place this underneath here i'm gonna reduce it just a little bit actually just we're gonna leave it that way i'm gonna grab new and place it right here as you can see it looks pretty okay it's not nothing fancy nothing crazy i'm not really done with it yet but this is basically all you need to you know get people to watch your videos this text this stands out this stands out this this could be you right here it doesn't have to be some character from the game it can be your character from the game standing now you know it's all about how you make it look good so this is basically just a general one so i usually would grab the name of the game as well because with the thing with video game thumbnails is you want to just put a whole bunch of stuff on there that makes it pop you don't want to put too much at the same time but you don't want to put too little because if you put too little they don't really get what's going on you got to make it pop so i go to youtube or google okay so you just have to go on to google and search up nba 2k20 logo png you need a png file for this to work properly so right here i can see i see one right here to know if it's a png you got to make sure it's got a checkered background like this and you can just open it up wherever whatever website it's on or you can just download it from whatever link this is so i'm just gonna save the image as as you can see you save as type png image that's how you know it. it's supposed to just be default png image or it's not a png image i'm just gonna save this as nba 2k20 logo so now we have that saved we're just gonna add that to our uh, little thumbnail here and as you can see just drag and drop it and just place it right up here is where i would usually place a name of a game just to kind of give it a nice look too okay in order to make this pop out you just got to go over here right click on the layer and then click on blending options and then we're just gonna we're just gonna uh, add a little bit of an outer glow to it and make sure the opacity is 100% and then increase the spread and the size the color is black so we're gonna make this white so it stands out but that's a little too much so we're gonna bring it down all the way down right there give it that little little you know look that nice look so it pops and you hit okay so the next thing would be if you wanted to add you know a whole bunch of different things to it like there's a lot of things you can add to a game and thumbnail you know you want to add like a basketball to the screen some fire emojis some smileys all that stuff just go on google and search up whatever you want but put the the word png at the end that way you get it so i'm, I'm just going to show you some of the things that i've downloaded from google and then we can i can show you how i use that on here so i'm just going to go to my desktop and then search up my folder so as you can see right here i've got a whole bunch of different pngs that i've saved over my time i just add things and just say I, when i use it i add it i save it on there so i'm just gonna grab let's say uh, a fire emoji right here and just make this a little smaller put this underneath here or here doesn't matter you can just make it look good doesn't matter how you do it you, you can even place it right here and it'll still look good you know right there and then you can grab let's see what else we have there you don't want to put too much as well so just be careful and you can grab a lightning effect so if you want me to make you a link to grab any of these pngs just let me know in the
the comment section i'll make you guys a link and add it to the video this is just a lightning effect right here so you can place this anywhere you want i can just go like right here make it small make it larger or anything you want to do just make it look pretty simple but at the same time eye catch and so this is basically all i've got for you guys today if you're new to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button make sure to like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up if you're looking for a video on how to make a simple logo make sure to click the video on the screen right now and i'll catch you guys in the next one midas is out